In other news tonight, the heroic actions of a security guard at a methadone clinic here in the Queen City. Over the weekend, Buffalo Police releasing this dramatic security camera footage. You might have seen this. It shows a man armed with an assault rifle firing shots inside that clinic. This is on Virginia Street, along with efforts to subdue the suspect. And tonight, our Jocelyn Person spoke with that security guard who takes us through what happened. Doors have now reopened at the Hispanics United of Buffalo after a violent confrontation with a gunman who police say was armed with an AR-15. But security guard Renaldo Beckford sprang into action. And when I turned from the corner of my eyes, all I saw was the person and the rifle. That's all I saw. And at that moment, I took a good look at the person and I couldn't believe what was happening. Renado tells me he's been in the security industry for more than 20 years. And when he had a close encounter with this gunman, he was in survival mode. I had him and I had the rifle. I was just saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And that's when he turned back and he had stopped fighting for a while. And that's when the other security guard was coming down the stairs. Ronaldo says the gunman wouldn't take his finger off the trigger, so everyone had to put up a fight. In this video, you see where they were able to tackle the suspect and take his gun. I would be lying to you if I was to say to you that I was not scared for my life. And the first thing that flashed over my brain was my baby boy who just turned three years old. Rinaldo tells me he doesn't want to label himself a hero, instead a man just doing his job. That's the business that I'm in, to save and protect. And that's exactly what I did. District Attorney John Flynn says the suspect, 48-year-old Jeremy Griffin from Buffalo, is now facing a number of charges. Two security guards uh, and two civilians who in my mind, took nothing less than heroic action. Uh, they were, um, they, 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 they did not uh, worry about the safety of themselves. They were concerned about the safety of the people who were around them. Nobody lost their life. Nobody got hurt. And to God be the glory. Rinaldo says he will consider seeking therapy and the clinic is looking into increasing security. Jocelyn Person, 7 News.